and truly all over the top of the Roosters. The Roosters just lacked a bit of spark, but the Tigers insisted on giving them a couple of opportunities towards the end. And Sydney City now coming up with possession. A loose pass there. And this will be Ben Duckworth to get up and play it for them. Singer acting half. Penalty. Balmain inside the 10. Well, this referee Simpkins has got to be consistent because there was Balmain. And we've had four and a half minutes gone now in the second half. We spoke about the couple of mistakes Balmain made just before half time. It was totally uncharacteristic of the way they played the first half. And they started the second half the same way. A couple of silly errors early and invited East into their, into their territory. They just want to get back to the way they were playing when they went to the 10 mil lead. Controlling the ball, kicking deep and chasing. Now it's with Lamb, who steps brilliantly, Lamb's away, and Lamb sets sail for the try line, back on the inside to Luke Rickardson, who puts the ball on the ground, oh, that might be a Sydney City try. There were players racing through, waiting to see what the referee decides to do. He's going to award a try to Sydney City. Well, put that one down to Adrian Lamb. Rig on it was that dived on it and forced the ball. Lamb making the bus, stepping freely through the Balmain defence. Got it away to Rickardson, who desperately put boot to ball. Here's Lamb on the replay, Jason Taylor. They're enthusiastic, the Tigers defenders. But against a player with such footwork as Adrian Lamb, sometimes that can be your worst option. Now, I'd like to know how Luke Rickardson knew that Rigon was coming there. He didn't look for one second. He just dropped the ball onto the boot. Figured he wasn't going to make it to the try line. And Rigon clearly the first one there. A fair try, no doubt about it. So we've got one heck of a game of football on our hands here. At and Clear will now set the ball. 11 metres out. But for mine was marginal. But Rigon was tackled by Weber. Here they go again down the blind side through Luke Rickardson. Balmain defence equal to the task. And a tight match here at Leica. Lamb. He's made a huge difference to this side since he returned last week. Fittler, met and tackled in a good hit. And he's taking a while to get up, Brad Fittler. That hurt him. Now it's back to Lamb, who puts a little kick over the top. Oh, that will be a Sydney City try to Ivan Cleary. That was just too good. A brilliant ploy by Brad Fittler, who kicked back on the angle. He knew Cleary was there. Adrian Lamb, it was Tappy Brad Fittler still receiving a bit of attention. Lamb kicked back on the inside. We saw Fittler attempt to do it earlier in the first half. He went for a grubber back on the inside, knowing Ivan Cleary was coming through the ruck. Lamb put this one in the air. Floyd, we saw Canberra used to get a, a lot of mileage out of that one. Ricky Stewart used to put the ball back across for Brett Mullins, steaming through the middle of the ruck. And Ivan Cleary, I'll back him every time if there's a one on one competition with the ball in the air he didn't have much pressure though he just had to take it and fall over and he's not well and he's the man that's got to attempt to convert this and uh, he may let someone else have the shot at goal I think you'll find he's not well you're right it was Lamb have a look at another look at it this is where Fittler was injured well, that hurt that tackle back in possession well Balmain are going to pay dearly for these mistakes and they're starting to come all too often Jason Taylor they are we, we've said it a number of times they went for 38 minutes in the first half and hardly made one Jolly's down and hurt in back play the Balmain halfback who hasn't moved but his face on the turf and uh, referee has seen that for you Cleary Jolly across the top there, and boom, there's the elbow. And Ivan Cleary will be there for Sydney City. Positional play outstanding. Ooh, Michael Gillette had a tendency to get the player's legs up in the air there, but nothing came of it. There's a spill of possession, and Balmain, an outstanding opportunity for them now, the changeover of possession. And it was Darren Center falling on it for the Tigers. Here they come, the black and golds, in front of their home crowd, and it's a big crowd at Leicup. Darren Center puts the head down and charges at the Sydney City try line, and he's pulled up two blades of grass short. McPherson now at acting half. What will he do? He spins it to Jolly, who steps off his right and heads back towards the goalpost. He was tackled by Scott Logan for Sydney City. This is enormous pressure now for the Roosters. 
Balmain using the football with long passing and land there again in a tackle that had to be made. Brasher at acting half, fires the ball to Jolly. Now it's Gillette. Now it's with the man in jumper 11, Mark Stimson, who keeps it alive. It's back to Gillette, who has met in a crunching tackle by Jack Ellsgood. I can clean it up. And across field he runs. And there's a penalty to the Sydney City side, Sirenen. And there is some feeling in this game now, Jason. Those sort of things are just hurting the Tigers at the moment, aren't they? They've put a good kick down, they had a good chase. It was good bringing the ball back. But through one tackle and Zero comes across the top. And There's no doubt about that. So Sirenen being cautioned. Who's tackled by Jolly and also Morrison. That would be tackle number five. Garlic back to Walker, who has a shot at field goal. Ricochets off a Balmain player and goes back on the fly to Timmy Brasher, who found himself in space. But he was tackled by Goulet for Sydney City. So Balmain, with 13 minutes remaining in this game, have got to get the football, the football up the northern end of this, this stadium to make a bustling run out of acting half. We're seven and a half minutes now remaining in this game. Fettler! Fittler trying to start, the Roosters made half a break, Balmain have got it back through Jolly, he's got no support, he'll have to go on his own, and he was tackled by Rickardson, and also Matt Singh, good chance now for the Tigers, Brasher calls for it and gets it, switches the point of the attack back the other way, they swing it right through Michael Gillette now, who's running out of support, play Michael Gillette through, he comes to land back on the inside now to Weber, who sets sail for the line, that's a Balmain try, seven minutes out from full time, and boy didn't they need that, a great try, and well done Michael Gillette. Well Michael Gillette, I can tell you one thing for sure, he would have been very disappointed at half time, because he would have known he was the man to drop that ball just before the break, and that would have, that, that would have hurt his confidence a bit, he, he would have been very disappointed, but as Bre Tim Brasher turned the ball back to Jolly here, it went to Gillette, he headed across field and he just straightened up beautifully here. Put around Andrew Walker, which is an easy feat. And there's Weber crossing for the four-pointer. That makes it 16-14 in favour of Sydney City. We've got Billy Anderson sitting beside our commentary box here at Leichhardt Oval. He just undid the window and said, said Tappy, can you go and get Jason Taylor to take this kick for us? There's the other replay as Weber comes across and scores a fine try. So this... He rams home the advantage for Sydney City. They now lead by four. So Balmain have got three minutes to score a converted try to win this game. Tim Brasher caught that ball and was running back to the halfway and Sean Garlic got in his road to slow him down. And Brasher ran straight over the top of him. Oh, yes, there's a short kickoff. Not a... Oh, it's been picked up! Here we go now, it's Lenore Milford. Brilliant play by Brasher. Well, that's exactly what the Tigers needed. This game is going to go right down to the wire. We're less than three minutes remaining on the clock now. And the Balmain side, a tackle five metres out from the Sydney City try line. From Michael Gillette, the ball goes to Jolly. He elects to go on his own. He's tackled right in centre field. 11 metres out. Well, they've given their fans their money's worth today. Now it goes back to Brasher. Morrison back on the park works the run around with Timmy Brasher. And he's tackled now just seven metres out. Moving into the acting half area, they'll throw the ball out to Jolly. Now it's with Michael Gillette, they've got numbers, Balmain. There's a ball that's been well caught by Mark Stimson. Stimson's over, he's been held up, no try. Oh, exciting stuff here at Leichhardt. What a game of football. The kickoff from Tim Brasher. Bold tactic as we look at the replay of Mark Stimson. Pinsy is back, set sail for the line, Ellsgood was there. Matt Singh, they flipped him on his back. And there's no doubt, as the scrum packs, there's the replay of the kickoff from Brasher. It was taken by Laloa Milford. Half, they're 10 metres out now, and only seconds remain in this game. It goes back to Michael Gillette, who dummies now gives it to William Kennedy. William Kennedy, oh, he's been put in the touch by Jack Ellsgood. That's full time at Leichhardt Oval. What a game of rugby league. What a game. The full time siren has sounded. Balmain have gone down fighting. There's the replay. Kennedy clapped on the pace through the dummy. But Ellsgood, it was a try saving tackle. Just pushed him into touch. Kennedy got off balance. Well, that's about as an exciting finish as you're going to see 